Welcome to Smart Biz and Tech, where we talk about tech innovations in business. Imagine you are in a bustling cafe in Accra, Ghana. A university student named Amara types a query into a search engine, but her signal doesn't go to a nearby server. Instead, it embarks on a continent-spanning voyage, traveling thousands of miles north to a European exchange point before returning. It's like mailing a letter to your neighbor by sending it to another continent first. For decades, this was the reality for millions of African users. The internet is physical, but for too long, its superhighways were controlled by Western corporations. This dependency kept Africa at a disadvantage, slow, expensive, and controlled elsewhere. Every click, every video had to leave the continent and come back, stalling digital growth. But that reality has been shattered. In just days, Africa flipped the switch on something that changes everything. Meet the Continental Internet Exchange, CIEC, a continental network owned by Africa. Africa's internet once depended on foreign infrastructure. This meant high costs. Billions left the continent every year. Slow speeds data traveled to Europe and back, causing delays. No control foreign servers handled African data. The solution is clear, Africa must own its network. A new era begins, Africa builds digital independence. In a move that stunned the global tech establishment, the AU flipped the switch on the CIX. This Welcome is not a small ISP. Cool. It's a parallel, continent-scale internet infrastructure. A backbone of fiber, data centers, and IXPs owned by Africa. Conceived, built, and governed by African engineers and leaders. Hundreds of thousands of kilometers of fiber and dozens of modern data centers were deployed. And crucially, they are owned and governed by African institutions. Imagine 54 nations building their own superhighway instead of paying tolls, interchanges, service stations, and traffic rules, IXPs, and governance. Direct efficient links between every major African city. Transport becomes faster. Latency drops dramatically. Costs fall as transit fees disappear. And the network becomes more secure. Africa controls its data. A packet from Cairo to Cape Town no longer needs a passport to visit Europe. It takes an express route across the continent. Redundant paths improve resilience, one failure doesn't take us offline. The true marvel is the collaboration all 54 nations coordinated technical and governance standards. Thousands of engineers and technicians were mobilized and trained. Africa has leapfrogged a new network avoids legacy burdens. Built for AI, IoT, and the continent's youthful population. It provides a scalable, resilient foundation for African innovation. A technical masterpiece giving Africa the tools to compete globally. But the real revolution is not just cables, it's the software. The scale of the CIX is staggering one of the most ambitious, coordinated infrastructure projects. Not an experiment, but a continental-grade network. Built to rival any global tech giant. A massive web of terrestrial and subsea fiber over 100,000 kilometers laid. Crews worked long distances to link cities and borders. 47 major data centers strategically positioned across the continent. Internet exchange points critical junctions where ISPs peer locally. Distributed architecture pushes data along the shortest, most efficient paths. Automatic reroutes maintain connectivity even when links fail. Cross-border construction required diplomatic coordination and logistics. Training programs built local expertise for generations to come. A brand new network avoids legacy burdens and is future ready. Ready for AI, IoT, and the continent's explosive digital growth. This is a technical masterpiece, a platform to compete globally. But hardware is only half the story software shapes who controls the internet. Enter the African Digital Protocol, the ADP, a new digital language designed with African priorities. The CIX runs on a new framework, the African Digital Protocol, or ADP. This is not just an alternative to TCP IP, it is a different digital language, designed to prioritize local languages, cultures, and services. ADP is intentionally incompatible with legacy Western stacks. Google, Amazon, and other giants cannot simply plug in and dominate. It creates a protected space where African innovation can flourish. Instead of proprietary indexing, ADP uses distributed knowledge mapping, Search taps primary sources from African universities, archives, and oral historians. Results are faster, more relevant, and in local languages, Amara sees authentic local sources first. This threatens the gateway model that made Google dominant. 
If 1.4 billion people use a system that works better for them, market dynamics shift. Faster, localized, and tailored a new center of gravity for the web. Primary sources, oral histories, and academic work surface easily. Content is accessible even on low bandwidth designed for real constraints. The results feel authentic, local, and useful. ADP doesn't just reroute traffic, it recenters the digital world. When Africans search about themselves, they see their own world first. It is a declaration. African knowledge matters. Beyond tech, this changes money flows and jobs. Money that once flowed out begins to stay and multiply locally. The economic story is next. The economic implications of the CIX are monumental. Africa previously spent over $50 billion annually on Western digital services. That money left the continent now, it begins to stay. CIX revenue funds local data centers, engineers' salaries, and startups. Local tech teams gain scaling capacity and market opportunities. Homegrown cloud, secure email, streaming, and ad networks arise. Money staying local creates a powerful economic multiplier effect. Tens of thousands of construction, operations, and tech jobs are created. From splicing fiber to data science careers, opportunities expand. Local apps solve local problems agriculture, logistics, finance. Creators build audiences on African platforms and monetize locally. Startups that once struggled can now scale regionally. High-skilled jobs give youth reasons to stay and build at home. With over 60% under 25, Africa's youthful population is primed to lead. Faster, cheaper internet unlocks education, entrepreneurship, and culture. A level playing field invites innovation and competition. Local platforms drive transactions, jobs, and growth. For a generation, the future just opened up. Beyond economics lies geopolitics the world is watching. This launch sent shockwaves through tech and geopolitics. And now the scramble begins. In just three days since launch, over 200 million users migrated to the CIX. Faster speeds, lower costs, and local relevance created an irresistible value. Western tech giants scrambled their usual playbook as ineffective here. ADP and governance prevent easy acquisition or takeover. To compete, giants would need to build a parallel African internet costly and slow. They face a unified market that created its own rules. Other regions are watching and planning their own continental exchanges. We may be witnessing the start of a splinter net interconnected, but sovereign digital regions. This could be the dawn of the post-Google era, a future where local content, languages, and economies take center stage. Africa is not just adopting technology, it is shaping it. For people like Amara, information now feels like home. The internet as we knew it will never be the same. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more explainers on Africa's tech revolution. Sources, AU launch materials, and public reports. Viewers should verify facts independently. Africa, building its digital future on its own terms.